pimps. This is Melt for the Pimp Team, and I thank you for watching our video. If you would like to make some videos too, we will post them on our site. That said, thank you very much to all the miners for helping one another and building our great community on the chat and on the forums. It's my personal joy to watch and help your farms and your success grow and grow. In this video, I will show you how to run updates and install new miners just by typing in commands to the terminal. All of the pimp tools are able to be run using the command line so anyone can do it. So if you saw on the change log that there was a new Equihash miner that gets more hash, or you just wanted to try out the other miners and see what you can do, uh, right now we can log in and see what we're making with the EWBF miner. This is an Equihash miner for NVIDIA cards. Well, we would like to see what B miner can do. So let's pimp up this rig. First thing we're going to do is we're going to SSH into the rig uh, as the root user. In this case, the rig's IP address I already know, and we log right in. Um, now, uh, typically if there's updates available, you would see them right here. Uh, it would say, look at the pimp news. Uh, in this case, we're just going to run the pimp up. And we see here that everything is already up to date. I'm going to show you an example of if something has gone wrong you can always do a force update and you'll see that it shows an example of what it looks like when it updates the pimp software. Uh, you'll also notice here that it updates the default configuration files which are in the optcoms default folder that happens automatically you should be saving your files in optcoms and we'll dig into that a little deeper in the editing comps video. Um, for right now we also see that we get a news here which lists all the recent updates in a quick and dirty form. Uh, any more detail you can find on our forum in the product news section. So we see here that Vminer has received an update. Uh, there's some other uh, miners available as well. Now it says press any key to update install miners or you can quit out. Uh, we're going to press enter there and we see here that there's some miners available. So some of these miners require you to compile them. Some of them will auto update based on a package that we've made. Um, so in the case of Claymore, for example, you would type in four, hit enter, hit enter again for yes. It'll just grab the binary and install it where it needs to go. You see green, you're good. Uh, in this case, we are using a older version of PIMP, which did not have the B minor installed. So we would need to come in here, uh, especially if it said there's no bin file. Well, this is how you install your bin file. You go into PIMP up, new miner is installed. We'll go ahead and quit out. Um, now, right now, I believe we are actually running, I was running an experimental, um, but we are getting uh, roughly eight something solutions on our mining Zcash with EWEF. So we're going to control C that and we're going to list out what we have here. Okay, so we're actually going to get rid of Z, uh, EWBF right here. Delete one. Yes. And then let's go ahead and add the miner that we want, which is. 2511 for B minor, so pimp add 2511, and we can start it with pimp start one. Okay, well, if we want to see what's going on, we want to test it out first, so we'll do pimp test one. It'll tell us what it's doing. Minor screen was started, that means it's good so far. B minor 550 is started, looking good. Accepted chair. I know that's working. I'm going to control A and then let go of that and hit D to detach from the screen. And you can see here that <clears throat> Minor Farm is detecting it. That's good. Let's go back in and take a look. Now it does generally take a few minutes to get up to the regular speed that you want, but overall, that looks good. Now that we know that it's working properly, we know it's reporting to Minor Farm, we can control A, let go, D to detach. Um, now the miner is still running. We're going to go ahead and do a, um, well, let's edit that. 
So this is the B minor dot echo hash dot P config file. So we're gonna hit. And we'll get into more detail later, but basically what you would do is pick a pool, put in your wallet, your pool, your port, whatever you need. Uh, this miner is a little unusual as it all goes in one line. Any flags you want to change? Flags. And then it says, oh, well, this isn't a JSON file, so we can't check it. Uh, but we can at least restart the miner to use whatever changes you made. So uh, in this case, we didn't make any changes, so we'll say no. And we see it's still mining after a few moments. Well, that looks good. So now you can move on to editing and testing other settings again if you like. Check out the how to edit conf files section for more information on that. And for now, for how to run pimp up to update pimp confs software and miners, that's all there is to it. My name is Mel for getpimp.org. Thank you very much for supporting pimp and watching our video. See you on the forum and on the pimp mining discord chat at discordme slash pimp. Have a great day.